All right, welcome to another episode of Software Update News. We are talking to talk about stock ROMs, custom ROMs. Today we have, I think, a couple of Oppo devices in the loop as well. So we do have a lot of exciting stuff coming up in this video, custom ROMs and stock ROMs. Stay tuned till the end because you will get to know if your device has received a software update for stock ROM or custom ROM. Hello everyone, my name is Kailash and this is Phone Ops. We make amazing content like this every single day. So please subscribe if you have not already. Now, without further ado, hello awesome people. Welcome to Phone Ops. My name is Kailash. Let's get going. Starting with stock ROM updates, as you can see, we have received a Android 13 partial release security patch update for the Xiaomi 12T Pro in Russia. The version number is MIUI 14.0.3. Moving on, we have the Xiaomi 12 Pro in Indonesia getting 14.0.2 with Android 13 and a new security patch. Now we have the Redmi Note 11 Pro still getting MIUI 13.0.5 along with Android 12. So pretty outdated things over here as far as the Note 11 Pro in Russia is concerned. Now moving on, we have the Redmi 10 5G or the Poco M4 5G Global getting 14.0.3 with Android 13 and a security patch. So that's good for that device. Redmi 19 Indonesia has gotten the 14.0.1, but it is based on Android 12 and it is a major pilot release. So that means this is still beta. This is not rolled out to everyone. Now, next up, we have the Redmi Note 9S EEA 14.0.4. This is again Android 12, a major Android update from 11 to 12. And uh, yes, I hope it gets the latest security patch. Now, apart from this, the Redmi Note 12 4G global version getting 14.0.6. 14.0.6. This is like one of the highest numbers of MIUI 14 that we've seen. So it should have quite a lot of fixes. This is a partial release and a security patch update with Android 13, a recent device. So no surprise that it is running on Android 13. Now, up next, we have the Redmi 10 Prime in India, an entry-level phone getting a pilot release that is a beta update of Android 12 based MIUI 13.0.7 with the latest security patch. Xiaomi 13 Pro, the latest and greatest from Xiaomi in China is getting 14.0.24 with Android 13 and a latest security patch. Xiaomi 13 in Europe or EEA is getting 14.0.22 with Android 13. So these two two numbers that you see, that means they're getting the latest, absolute latest versions of MIUI. The next up we have the Xiaomi Redmi Note 12 4G Global 14.0.6 with Android 13. And then we have the Redmi Pad in India getting a pilot release of Android 13. That is good. That means you should have a stable update soon. Xiaomi 13 China 14.0.24. Once again, Android 13 here. Redmi Note 10T in Japan getting 14.0.7 along with Android 13 and the latest security patch. The Redmi Note 8 2021 in Russia is getting 14.0.4 with Android 13. That is good because remember, even though it is the Redmi Note 8, it was released in 2021 and it getting the latest standard version is nice. Uh, shame on you, Motorola. Next video, you'll come to know why I'm saying that. Anyways, Redmi Note 10 5G Poco M3 Pro 5G Indonesia 14.0.3. MI Pilot release, that means a beta once again based on Android 13. And then we have the Redmi Note 10 Pro Global getting 14.0.2, a pilot release of Android 13 here as well. And next up, let's see, Redmi 9C, 12.0.23, Android 10. Yeah, it's an old device. I mean, come on, give Xiaomi a break. Uh, Redmi K30 Pro in China, 14.0.4 with Android 12. This was a pretty decent device. It should definitely get Android 13 instead of 12. And we have Poco X5 Pro in Russia getting 14.0.8 with Android 12. I really don't understand uh, Xiaomi's... Uh, software upgrade path. It's really, really weird, like extremely weird. Now we have the Xiaomi 12 Global 14.0.3 pilot release. That means a beta with Android 13. Then we have the Redmi Note 11 Global 13.0.12 Android 12 MI pilot release. Xiaomi 13 Lite EEA 14.0.13 with Android 12. This is again a security patch release. Redmi Note 10 Lite partial release of Android 12 with the latest security patch. It's a major MIUI update for this device because it got MIUI 14. Redmi Note 12 4G Turkey 14.0.2 along with Android 13. 
and then we have the Redmi Note 12 4G NFC in Russia 14.0.2 with Android 13. It's a partial stable update. Now let's move on to the interesting part, which is custom ROMs. So as you can see over here, we've covered all of this. But if we talk about the Redmi Note 10 Pro, it has gotten Pixel Experience Official's latest Android 13 update, which is good. See Android version 9.4 official with Android 13. Redmi Note 11 getting Pixel Experience 13 official. That is great for that device. Paranoid Android, one of the few ROMs that I like a lot, is going official on the Redmi Note 11. So Note 11, guys, you can definitely give it a try. Poco X3 Pro gets Bianca Project's latest official Android 13 update. A few fixes there. Now, Mi 11X has a bunch of custom ROMs updated as well. We are talking about CRDroid 9.4 official with Android 13. We are talking about Real King Kernel version 11, which supports Android 11, 12, and 13. Arrow OS Mipa, unofficial. This is an unofficial build. You can give it a try. I've liked Arrow OS in the past on the K20 Pro. Statix OS version 6.2, Android 13. I have to try this. I've not tried this. Now let's talk about the Poco F4. Superior OS, unofficial Android 13. Then we have Pixel Experience Official Android 13, Real King Kernel Android 12 and 13 once again. SKK has released a new TWRP for Poco F4, so if you're having any flashing issues, you should have a better experience. Now, now let's talk about some Oppo updates over here. Android 13 based ColorOS 13 Beta opens for Oppo A77. Oppo A53 users get the stable Android 13 with ColorOS 13. That's nice. Oppo A57 gets Android 13 with ColorOS 13. Xiaomi EU has released yet another weekly update with 20 devices supported. We're going to make a video on that. So you should see that on our channel soon. That was it for today's software news. Every week, twice or thrice, I'll be releasing this because I try to make it a daily thing, but we don't have much content or much stuff that is released. As in when we cover more and more devices from more and more manufacturers, this might become more frequent give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel because not only this we're going to come up with some amazing content every single day i'll see you in the next one my name is kalash keep smiling take care goodbye